Today, we're gonna break down the keto and carnivore flu symptoms. What is up, my people? I hope you're having an amazing Sunday by the time you see this video, but let's get right on to it, onto this very humble channel. Now, I do a lot of videos sort of warning people to be careful. The reason why I do videos on this subject, it started with a client years ago whose husband followed my advice, and I gave the woman the consultation and the husband copied what I had done specifically for his wife and he became so dehydrated he had to go to the hospital. After that, Steph doesn't play around. I've worked with a lot of people who've developed issues. That's a fly, by the way, my little zapper. I've worked with a lot of people who've developed issues because of the desperation to get better, either to lose weight or to fix your skin or your fertility or your menstrual cycle or your low iron or your high iron or whatever it is, your gallbladder, your leaky gut, your histamine, your aging, crepey skin, crappy sleep, losing muscle. I mean, like it's all of those things. And so I started to be very careful because when you do anything where you drop out your carbohydrates, your body's not used to that. Your body's used to running on glucose. Not that you have to run on glucose, but if it's used to that and you cut it out, then perhaps you might develop constipation or hypoglycemia. So I thought I would go over the keto flu symptoms, which are applicable to carnivore diets as well. And since I coach all three, low carb, high fat, keto omnivore and carnivore, I'm going to break down some of the keto flu symptoms and explain them. It's pretty much a summary of what I talk about all the time, but it might be easier to access this video and get it all. So here we go. Bam. Okay. I like to do random searches so you can see I'm not putting a bunch of research before I talk. Let's do this. Okay, over here, the screen one, I see when I blow it up, it's all, it's all blurry, but I can read this, the, the symptoms. It says muscle cramps, brain fog, dizziness, irritability, insomnia, constipation, uh, electrolyte imbalances. Oh, okay. oh, those are the, um, the, they have the problem and solution. So their problem was muscle cramps, supplement electrolytes. Please do not supplement your electrolytes except for magnesium. We'll go more into that. Brain fog. Brain fog could be because you're not using ketones. It can be because of candida die-off. It can be because of your thyroid. And it says to eat an avocado. <laughs> no, that's not the solution. You have to figure out why you're having the brain fog. Then we find the solution because some of you guys are allergic to it, to avocados. Dizziness, that's electrolytes, and it just says to drink more water. You can't just drink more water. You have to add minerals. Yeah. Uh, irritability. It says to meditate. <laughs> well, it's good to meditate, but that's not it. That's not all. Insomnia can be from you're used to using carbs or alcohol to get you to sleep. Then you wake up throughout the night. Uh, a lot of you guys have a blood sugar dysregulation, dysglycemia dysglycemia, hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and that's what wakes you up. And constipation, it says to eat more fiber. Please don't eat more fiber for constipation. That is not the solution. Now it can be a temporary solution, but that is not the end goal. Let's do another one because I think these things are super funny as a gnat flies around my face. Okay, here's one. Oh, come on, Steph. 
come on. says, don't skip meals. That is good. Who wrote this one? Balance your electrolytes. They just have pictures of avocado. Sip on herbal teas. Guess what? Herbal teas have, unfortunately, um, mycotoxins. Not my, not tannins. I'm sorry. Rather, tannins. That is not always the solution. And tannins can uh, make it difficult for your body to absorb iron. Coconut oil, MCT oils do not put you in ketosis. Some people have a histamine to turmeric. Oh, these, this advice, the advice on this stuff is garbage. I can't with it. Okay, let's see what this one says. As you guys notice, I'm not reviewing people at, well, at least today, because you guys get, some of you get triggered because I just pick random people and start talking about it or them or no, whatever they're saying. Common side effects for women on a keto diet. Now, it doesn't matter if it's women or men, it says muscle cramps and tightness. Yeah. If you're not, if you balance your electrolytes, you, this is not a common effect. Constipation, uh, that's either from your thyroid or it's from being super dehydrated because the body takes water out of the colon when you're not balancing your minerals and you're losing a lot of water via the kidneys. Reduce physical performance. It can happen because you're not in ketosis and you're your muscle glycogen storage, your gas tank is depleted. Heart palpitations, that's an electrolyte issue of low potassium. Let's see, how keto flu, per, wait, keto flu symptoms, fatigue, nausea, irritability. Yeah, very, very, okay, fatigue, that is because you're not adapted and there's, your glycogen is depleted. Nausea could be your gallbladder or a low potassium. Irritability, all those things. Insomnia, because your blood sugar's jumping up and down. Upset stomach because your gallbladder probably is freaked out or you have any histamine response. Headaches is your electrolytes. See, I can look at any one of these things and explain the symptoms. What is the keto flu, Dr. Berg? Shall we or shall we not? No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, remedies for the keto flu. How to beat the keto flu. There's a bunch of almonds with oxalates. Love it. <laughs> keto friendly food list. Let's see what this says. Salmon. Yeah. Albacore tuna. Albacore. No. Hard pass. Sardines. Yes. Beef. Yes. Eggs. If you don't have a histamine response. Pork. If you don't have a histamine response. Turkey. I don't really add in unless you have a severe histamine because turkey is very low histamine. Chicken is no. They could have added like bison. They could have added uh, lamb. Organ meats, avocados, berries. No, people. There's no berries, bell peppers, which is a nightshade for those who got a thyroid, thyroid issue. Green bean spinach has, has uh, oxalates. Ugh. These things, that's why I get so flustered when I see this nonsense. I bet you I could do this with fasting and find a bunch of nonsense as well. Uh, let's see here. It says common keto flu symptoms. This is carnivore too. Same thing. Doesn't matter. Just drop out your carbs. This is what happens. Uh, tiredness, feeling unmotivated. That's from having dysglycemia, headaches, electrolytes, irritability, all of the above. Brain fog could be candida die off, thyroid, or uh, hypoglycemia, lethargy, hypoglycemia, fever could be your gallbladder, could be just the fact that your immune system drops on a keto carnivore diet. Let's see here. Uh, 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 how to get more sodium on keto. No, you don't. Y'all, if you have a headache, never just do sodium. It has to be sodium and potassium. If you take too much sodium, that can drop your potassium. So the electrolytes have to be balanced perfect. I will link some electrolyte videos after this one so you see what I'm talking about. Tips to cure the keto flu. Increase your sodium. Again, dumb. Increase your potassium and there's an avocado. Not if you have a histamine response, that might be potassium citrate 
or by uh, glycinate, um, bracer extract, meat broth, these all have potassium in them. Um, eat enough fat, true. Stay hydrated, true, hydrated. Do light exercises, true. And get ad adequate sleep, true. Symptoms of keto flu, brain fog, nausea, diarrhea, muscle cramps. So brain fog, again, can be can can uh, candida die off. It can be uh, low, you're not making ketones, you have low blood sugar. Nausea could be your gallbladder or low potassium. Diarrhea can be low potassium. It can be gallbladder, can be leaky gut, muscle cramps, electrolytes. Dizziness can be electrolytes. Also tinnitus or um, uh, vertigo can be from dehydration. That can be another keto flu symptoms. Symptom constipation because you're dropping a lot of fluid. Um, for those who are doing carnivore, get back to you guys. For those who are doing a carnivore diet and the other sort of keto flu symptoms that, that aren't on there is people eating high protein, which is kidney pain, a uh, green stool from a release of bile too quickly because your gallbladder is not used to like ground beef, for example. Uh, gallbladder symptoms, which is nausea, right side pain, middle of the stomach pain, shoulder blade pain, greasy stool, floating stool, leaky gut can be a yellow stool color. The histamine responses to a bunch of foods, a bunch of butter, butters, high histamine, um, eggs are high histamine. When you guys start doing a ton of that, all of a sudden you're like, why do I feel so bad? Yeah. Be very careful. Um, what else? The nausea and diarrhea can be a low potassium. Or just not drinking enough water. You guys need to sip water throughout the day. You can't drink a liter in the morning or half a liter. That's not how you hydrate yourself. Uh, definitely have to balance sodium, potassium, magnesium, and know what type. I'm going to go through a magnesium video because you guys are a lot. A lot of you are doing citrate, and then you have loose bowels, and then you're dehydrated. Try to find glycinate first. If you don't react to it, just pure glycinate. No other like fillers, binders, or whatevers. Um, <laughs> trying to think what else um symptoms can be uh, of course you can't sleep and that is because you become hypoglycemic don't fast at the same time hair falling out is another symptom for your thyroid becoming underactive uh constipation again the body's pulling water from the colon rashes can be oxalate die off or uh, candida die off, or even just eating a lot of mono foods and having a histamine response to the foods you wouldn't normally just constantly eat. And if you're doing keto, don't drink or keto or carnivore, don't drink coffee. Like you're already losing fluid. So then you put yourself on a diuretic, you start having severe dull headache. And the solution isn't just to go and take a bunch of salt. It's to find sodium, potassium and balance. You guys know too much sodium pushes down potassium. I hope this helps. It's just a quick video, sort of. It's just a sort of a quick video, and I am out to learn more. Book a consultation through stephanieperson.com. Can I speak? Uh, I got your back. Also, I have a course where I cover all three diets, low carb, high fat, which is still starch-based, which you'd still eat sweet potato, red potatoes, parsnip, or white rice whatever works best for your particular body, but in very small amounts, and then graduate yourself back to keto or high fat carnivore, which is ketogenic. And you would do that if you had a severe gallbladder issue and you need to work on the gallbladder before doing a high fat diet. Also try to drive ketosis. A lot of people who think they're in ketosis, they're not, don't fast, because if you wanna develop dysglycemia, hypoglycemia, and thyroid issues, fast. If you don't, and sleep issues, then don't fast. Uh, if you have hypoglycemia, eat small meals throughout the day of a fatty meat source like pork belly or egg yolks if you don't react or ground beef. I use sometimes ground turkey for those who've got severe histamine until we can work out that histamine issue, the small intestinal, no, the SIBO or the histamine where you're having a reaction. And those are the, if I missed any, comment below. Comment below. Tell me if you've had any of these symptoms that I have spoken about. Dry eyes, smelly breath, loose stool, green stool, instant diarrhea, nausea, muscle cramps, face twitches. That's low potassium, by the way. 
Um, there are so many things to consider on this diet, bloated, chronically bloated, mucus, um, sleepless nights is an, a huge one. And you don't wake up to pee, you wake up because you have low ADH and your blood sugar is all over the place. A lot of you think you're making enough ketones, you're not. And symptomology has to match the ketones and the blood sugar. So you can test your A1C, your insulin, and I would get your kidney GFR tested, your liver enzymes, and I would not put a lot of cadence on blood pressure, not blood pressure, rather cholesterol tests, test your blood pressure, know your calcium score, and I'm out because I gotta go call this person back so I can get some hay today. Energy of 55 going on 56. This girl's been doing this 16 years on zero carbs. And I'm going through this list because I have gone through some of these symptoms and definitely my clients have hit one or two or all of these symptoms. Comment below if this is you. Check out my next video. Subscribe to my channel. Get ready for the challenge. It's coming soon. It's the 30-day challenge. I've got a course that's uh, subscription-based. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook is Stephanie the Business Person. And I'm out. Peace.